Gentlemen, how are we doing? Coach, doing well. Very good. Uh, you know, after after doing some work yesterday, how, how'd you feel today's day at camp went so far? I think it was good. We got to get up and down a little bit, you know, played a couple uh, eight minute scrimmages. Uh, the guys were a lot more comfortable. Uh, I was kind of shaking some of the rust off of yesterday. They got out there, got to enjoy it, played hard, competed, and you know, battled against each other, which I thought was great to see. Yeah, we've talked a, a, about it a little bit, but just how much faster do you feel guys are grasping everything? I mean, you've had so much continuity, and then guys like Paolo and, and Caleb went through summer league, have been here, you know, throughout the summer. How, how fast do you feel guys are grasping the concept? They're really getting grabbing onto it. Um, I, I think it's just going to be those constant reminders. Uh, we don't want to have slippage, but they've done a great job of picking up what we're trying to give them, uh, the foundation of what we're asking them to do. They've done a great job of doing that. And again, every practice is going to be the constant reminder of those foundational pieces and we'll just keep adding as we get as we go further into the into the camp. T. Ross explained that he's felt the ball movement has been a big difference this year versus last year. How much how well are you seeing the guards especially and, and other guys move the ball and continue to find the the right shot on possession? They really are and we've talked about our guys being unselfish and and that's what we said you know we want guys to be decision makers uh, making the right play and guys are doing that they're trying to find the open man if they don't have it they move off of it quickly but I've also challenged guys to be able to step into their shots when they're open uh, because if you don't take that shot, you now freeze the rest of the offense behind you. So you got to make sure that you're willing to step in and take the shot when it's your opportunity. Terrence, uh, uh, Terrence uh, mentioned that it was a good practice today. What, what is a good practice in, in your mind? You know, for coaches, it tends to be something different. You know, some coaches, you know, you say you want that the drills looked good, you know, and they looked good with their hands up and arms out and the communication was high level and that was all drill. But the reason why it was a good practice is because what they did for themselves was very good. They held each other accountable. Uh, they pushed each other while they were playing in the scrimmage. They didn't, you know, they didn't slack off. Uh, they were talking about the things that they needed to have done uh, overall defensively and offensively. Like T. Ross said, you know, the, the ball movement, that's a good practice when the things that you've done in some of the drills, they carry over into the live play. So I, I think regardless of whether shots go in or don't, you know, the things that we're laying as the foundation are there and they're really, you know, they're reciting them back to us. You noted the kind of the kind of decision making and, and obviously the ball the ball moving evolving kind of kind of the way that you want to. How, how do you want to see this offense evolve, or how has the offense kind of evolved uh, heading into the second year with everyone having most everyone having a year under their belt with you? I think it's going to continue to evolve into just more decision makers and more passing and more more ball movement, uh, but body movement. I, I think we've talked about that a little bit. I mean, the ball is popping and moving very well. Now we got to make sure that it continues, that bodies don't just stand to watch it. Um, knowing when to cut, knowing when to you know go back door, knowing when to you know, come set a screen, knowing when to slip out of a screen. Those things are going to be huge, and I think that's part of the decision making we're asking these, all of these guys to fall into, and they're really buying into it. But we're going to take it one step at a time and not try to get ahead of ourselves or skip any steps when it comes to that. Terrence mentioned that Jalen has been one of the big standouts from the first few days of camp. I guess what do you see differently from him this season, or I guess this camp compared to last season? Well. The slowing down is what is, is what is really you know apparent. He, in, in that time of his injury, he was able to study the game a little bit more. He was able to read the game, and so now that he comes back, he's really just registering and recognizing things that that he can see on the floor as, at a slower pace. Where you know we want him to push the basketball up fast and get over half court, but it doesn't always have to be about I get the shot. And we talked about this the other day. It's not always about the shot. It's about breaking the defense down being able to move that ball so now you're playing against teams closing out to you versus a set defense. Obviously there's been a lot of focus on, uh, call him Soul Anthony now, Cole Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> but outside of the physical uh, growth, I guess what's the biggest thing you've seen from him you know, in this camp compared to where he's at, especially toward the end of last season when the efficiency wasn't always there? Well, what I think Cole has done, and you know, the great part about him, man, he's such a willing learner, and, and he's wanting to take everything that, that we're doing and apply it. And so that's what it was noticeable. Like yesterday, we stopped a couple plays, and it was, you know, let him explain what he saw in a certain situation. And I think that's great for these guys to understand and learn. So they're not just doing it, they're finding out the why they're doing it or what the process was in, in that decision making in that moment. Because now as his teammates play with him, they understand why he comes off and does a certain thing. 
and now they can keep communicating with each other and holding each other accountable there. So he's done a, a he's hit tremendous growth from just you know the simplicity of the game and making the quick right decision. How much of a benefit? How much of a benefit will it be where your entire front line can shoot the three ball, space the floor? I think that's going to be huge. Our ability to knock down shots, but just now you can space the floor where teams have to honor that, and now it creates closeouts. Which in closeouts you now create the driving to the basket, which we want to be able to live at that rim and punish punish defenses at the rim. But then it goes back to. Once they've made that decision to drive the basketball, they've got to make decisions behind it now. It's not just, hey, I didn't shoot it and I drive it. Well, now there's going to be another set of defenses coming to you. Now how do you find the open man? And now it's their turn to make the next decision. So, Coach, what's the plan as you get ready to go to your first game on Monday? We're going to continue to, to evaluate. We have one, uh, two more practices, so we're going to evaluate and see how we go with different matchups, different lineups, let these guys get some more of the detail in what we're doing, um, and then just kind of sample out a couple, a couple of different looks. Tonight and tomorrow, before you guys leave? Yes, yes. We, meant, we asked Wendell about this. He mentioned that you guys tried out those bigger lineups, those yeah. bigger front lines. Yeah. You see, I think it was uh, Paulo, him, and then Bull. What have you seen from these bigger lines? And what ultimately, I guess, do you want to see as they continue to grow? I mean, I think Wendell and Cole both mentioned, for a lot of them, this is their first time playing alongside two other guys, you know, of those stats. I really think it goes back to all of it. Like, we, we have a job for these young men to become great decision makers and great basketball players. So regardless of the size or the length or however, what, whatever it is, we still want them to be great decision makers, right? They have to continue to improve. So whether that's Paolo, Franz, Wendell, Chuma, Bowl in a lineup, you know, we all we want them to be able to make the next person better, right? So that's what we're asking these guys to do, and that's what they're challenging themselves to do. So it's going to be some different lineups out there, but the, the same thing is going to be asked of all of them. If it's going to be positionless, they've got to be able to make the guys around them better. They've got to be willing to make easy decisions, and then you've got to be able to sit down and guard a lot of times one through five. When you look at either your team around the league, what's the most difficult or more cha most challenging part of having three bigs, I guess, for yourself, I guess, to develop that? What's the challenge of that? I, you know, I really look at it as opportunity. I look at it as a great way for these guys to get better. You know, you're, you're allowing these guys to think. You're allowing them to play the game. You know, I think what the game is, some games, have got, some teams can't go to is, you know, I put you in this position and you only have to do A and B. Where, you know, these young guys, if we're going to develop their entire game, they've got to be able to do A, B, and C and a little bit more. And that's part of being a full developed basketball player, not just a position, because we want guys to be able to play the whole game, not just a specific spot and a specific play. I want them to learn how to play basketball at a high level all the way around. Jamal, how does that work with the big guys running the point, but you got these small, faster guys also on the other side? How does that work defensively? Well, it also depends on it. In the league, guys are so good. You're not playing one on one. And so it's one against five. That's how we want it to look. So whether that's Cole Anthony guarding, you know, a bigger guy, then he, he's got to know that he's got help behind him. You know, whether that's Bowl Bowl closing out on a guy that may be quicker, well, then he's got to know that he's got help behind him. So you want to make sure that our guys understand that it's not them on an island. It's never the case. Um, our guys are going to guard five, five guys against that one. So that one guy that's going against us feels that crowd the entire time and that physicality that they have behind it, knowing it's going to be tough to get to that rim when you got 6'10", 6'11", 6'11", 7 feet behind you. Terrence, you, you talked a lot about your excitement from this team, from some of the summer runs that, that you guys had. How, how have you seen that carry over into the first few days of training camp? Um, it's starting to come together. Um, today we had a really, really good practice. Um, I felt like we got a lot out of it. I felt like everybody got better. Um, so that's you know the first positive step in going in the right direction is you know just start with the little things and today we did a good job of that so um, it could be exciting. Terrence, obviously you were here last year as you know Coach Mose was was essentially a rookie coach with this team, first year coach with this team. Um, you know how much smoother are things going considering that a lot of these players you have a lot of continuity, know a lot of the basic tenets of, of what he's trying to preach. Oh, a lot. I mean, it, it's good, man. It's the biggest thing was just all of us were here this summer. And that right there, you know, you with this hurricane, you would think that was set us back, but you know, a lot of guys know the lingo, a lot of guys know the terminology, uh, we know the sets, we know the base coverages. So I, we're in a good, we're in a good spot right now. Um, of course, we got to tighten some things up and 
being in the gym as much as you can helps with that. So uh, I, I feel like we're going in the right direction. But, you know, Moses is definitely doing a, a good job. I mean, you can tell he feels a lot more comfortable. Uh, everybody has, you know, rapport with him. Everybody's kind of, you know, in touch with each other. So you can see how that kind of goes the extra mile. We kind of feel comfortable. And now it's easier to get into things. Nothing's out of, or anything's out of, uh, you know, out of an ordinary. We have a good feel of what we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to do it. So uh, this is a good day today. How weird does it feel to be the oldest player on this team? I mean, it's weird. I mean, I don't know. It definitely feels strange because uh, when I came to the league, even just 10 years ago, 12, 11 years ago, it, it was not like this. You had, I mean, I was 21 when I got drafted, and I was one of the younger guys on the team, but everybody was pretty much grown. And um, now I'm on the other side of that, and everybody's pretty much young. Uh, so it's. It's still in that it's familiar in the sense of, you know, I'm kind of the only person that's either old or young. So it's been fun, man. I still talk to these guys like, you know, you know my homeboys. And it's been a good, you know, relationship with all of them. And we're having fun. So not bad. Not pops. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely Is it much not. easier this year having gone through it last year? I mean, it's a younger team than it even was last year. Yeah. But that experience, uh, kind of the ups and downs of a really young team last season, how much does it make it easier on you? I mean, it's cool because everybody knows what we're supposed to be doing. There's, there's nobody filling out a place. Um, and we have a couple of new guys like Paolo and Caleb. For the most part, like, they were here in the summertime. They went through summer league. They got the, the gist of it. So it's coming together. Everybody's so uncomfortable with, you know, what we're supposed to be doing. Now it's just getting in the rhythm and taking advantage of these days we have before the season starts. Your first look at a guy like uh, Bull, the range of outcomes that that, that guy's career might, might look like, what are, what are your first impressions? The freak, freak, just the, the freak. I don't know. It's hard to really describe Bull. Like he is seven foot three, he moves like a guard. He can shoot threes. He's light on his feet. Like it's, it's hard. Nobody's ever seen anybody play like this. So uh, he, he, it's once he finds his niche and what he's good at, and once he, you know, his groove that he's he finds and he's going to be good with it, he'll it, turn to be a good player. Is that just confidence? Is that just need to know kind of how yeah, good just, he can be? No, I mean, yeah. I mean, today was a good indication. He balled out today. I mean, he hit some tough shots. He made some blocks. He got some dunks. So I think it's just the more time you spend on the floor, the more your confidence builds, the more comfortable you are. And I think once he has, you know, some games under his belt and he's out there, he knows what, you know, his job is night in, night out, it'll start to come a little more smoother and he'll start to, you know, find where he belongs. But um, it's all about just, you know, being out there. Yesterday we were speaking with Cole, and he mentioned that Caleb is kind of in a similar place Franz was when he first came in as a rookie. Are you seeing that too? And if so, what, how would you compare the two as rookies? Franz rookie and Caleb rookie? No, I always say they're different. Um, yeah, they're different. Uh, I, don't, I mean, game-wise they are, but situational, I mean, we'll see. Um, you know, this long season, everybody's going to – have their ups and downs. Everybody's going to, you know, be banged up a little bit. So he's going to get his opportunity to play, go out there and make an impact. And I mean, we have confidence in him. He plays very well. He's he's doing everything he's supposed to do. He's shooting the ball well. So, you know, things like that is what's going to get him on the court. So once he goes out there and just proves that, I think he'll start to fall in line. So we'll see. What are your initial good. impressions of, of Paolo to this point? Good. Um, you know, when, when you have a guy that can do so many different things, it, it takes a little while to, to find, like, what they're gonna dominate at, rather than just like being, you know, good and everything. But he, he's doing good, man. He's, he's making plays. His playmaking is good. Uh, defensive effort is getting there. He's, he's playing well. Um, he, he, he's gonna once he finds what he's supposed to do and what he's gonna get his money. I think he's gonna be solid, man. But that's how it is for everybody. Everybody has to go in there and just kind of find their niche. And once they find it, they gotta build on it. How has, the, how has the offense kind of evolved from from last year? Obviously, the, the numbers weren't weren't great great for this group, but you guys seem to be pretty com pretty confident with your shooting, pretty confident with how things are developing. Where where's the offense evolved and taken off? I think you know with us, last year was good because it was like you know first season, the first year of understanding what we need to do, how coach wants us to play, you know where they can put their games into according to the offense. So now we're starting to see guys making decisions a lot faster. Nobody's holding the ball as much. We were much more fluent. The ball's moving from left to right more so than just like trying to attack one person and create that, mis or that disadvantage. So I think now we're understanding that when you move the ball, good things happen. When you move the ball, we can take good shots and good shots leads to us not giving up defensive transition points. And once we get back, we can set our defense up. And I think they're starting to realize how one thing affects the other and it's all starting to come together. 
and today was a really good indication of you know how we're supposed to play. Is there something in particular that you guys didn't necessarily do well last year that you think will almost definitely be improved this year? Moving the ball. I think our the flow of the offense is going to look much cleaner, much crisper. It's going to look more definitive. I think last year we, we had a we struggled with what shots we need to take, passing up shots, you know, dribbling too much. I think we're going to get rid of a lot of some of that stuff, and I think it will start to look much more – it just look better all around. I mean, obviously the league's kind of shifted toward more shooting. Um, how, how, much of the, how much of the focus has been on, on shooting from, from everybody and, 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 and kind of going that five-out style that, that, that a, lot of, a lot of people like? No, for sure. I think, you know, when, when our, our base set is five-out. So when we play five-out, that kind of allows us to do two things. Drive it, and then once you drive it, you don't have anything, kick it, either shot or drive. So I think the shooting is such a, a – emphasis this year because now we can't pass up shots we can't just keep attacking because once you attack too many times too many guys in the middle too many guys start to pull in so i think shooting is going to be a thing that's going to release some of that that's what we focus on now there, outside of yourself is there a player I don't want to say surprised but i guess impress you the most during these three days that you guys had camp hmm. yeah who was it jalen's played really well um Mo, Mo Bamba, he's shooting the ball. both Mo's. <laughs> both Mo's are shooting the ball really well right now, and that's good to see. Yeah, so the Mo's. What are you seeing different from Jalen last year compared to this year? You can see he's more comfortable. He's, he's, his shot's looking much better. He's attacking the ball. He's playing you know, that good defensive, hard-nosed defense that he comes with every night. So seeing him shoot the ball and scoring right now is, is a good indication. What's the difference about the shot that's outside of, I guess, making it more? He's making it that's the thing. When you come from college to the NBA, there's going to be a little, like, if you're not a pure shooter, it takes a little while to get acclimated to the court, to the size, to when you get tired and your legs go out, still getting that shot up under you. So I think that's what's starting to come into play. It's just been three days of practice, probably not the normal run-up time, but are you guys eager for Are you guys eager for Monday? Or are you guys looking, I looking ahead? I am. I mean, I want to play. I mean, it's, we played more so this summer than we have since I've been here. So I'm just excited to go out here, put a jersey on, be in front of fans and get back to work. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm we're already <laughs> for sure. In, in these runs, who have, you, who have you been, I guess, playing with the most, or lined up with the most? It seemed like yesterday you were playing with Paul, Truma, Admiral, and I think Mobamba. Like, oh, they, they switch up every day. It's training camp. Everybody gets switched up every day. There's not a unit that you've been, or you guys have been playing with more than others. Different unit every day. How's the uh, training camp going for you so far, your first NBA training camp? Uh, it's been real good. I mean, learned a lot uh, from the coaches, um, the other guys, and it's been a real good experience for sure. A uh, call yesterday, coach was saying, you know, he sees your role as kind of being that knockdown shooter, positional defender. Mm -hmm. You know, is that something you're comfortable doing, and, and is that kind of what you see for yourself this season? Yeah, I think for sure. Um, a guy that could come in and just try and make, um, do the right thing for the team, um, be in the right spot. Um, Make, and make shots, like you said, so for sure. And, and we asked Cole uh, about you. He said he's a big fan of yours and, mm -hmm. and loved your, your three-point shooting. Mm -hmm. You know, to kind of already impress your teammates at this stage of training camp, you know, what does that kind of say about how you've approached things? Yeah, I mean, I just try to come in every day, get better, uh, work hard, um, listen to the coaches as well as, you know, the players. Um, and, yeah, just, you know, kind of vibe with the teammates and stuff like that. So it's, it's been real good to be around the guys and have them kind of embrace me, for sure. Have you noticed a difference in pace and tempo and physicality in this training camp compared to your time in, in uh, college? Um, I mean, for sure. I think it was more like being here in the summer helped me a lot. So I kind of get um, exposed to it a little earlier, you know what I mean? But for sure, it's definitely um, a lot faster, a lot more physical than college, for sure. How has, how has kind of the uh, impression of, of getting an NBA offense, getting the NBA defense, what's, how, what, what has it been like kind of synthesizing all that information in, in relatively short time? Yeah, I think it's been good. I feel like they do a real good job of explaining to make it easy for us, easy for us especially us new guys. Um, I think like once again, it being, in the su being here in the summer, uh, we went over a lot of that stuff, so it definitely helps. And it's just like a refresher when you come here, so it's been good. What's been your impression of, of how this team wants to run run its offense? It seems like it's very read based, very like kind of player decision making based, right? Oh yeah, set based. for sure. Um, playing fast, um, like quick quick actions, um, moving the ball, and then just making the right play. I feel like we got a lot of good players, um, so it's really just letting the players play, making the right play, and um, playing together. What's been the most impactful piece of advice a teammate has given you, and who did it come from? Um, probably Ji just talking about like 
Um, just a rookie year in general, how there's going to be ups and downs. You just got to like push through it, you know what I mean? There's going to be obviously bumps in the road and stuff like that, but it happens, you know what I mean? Just keep on going, um, stay in the gym and just push through it basically. And what's, what's been the most challenging part of, I guess, adjusting to the NBA game? Has it been that physicality or that pace like you were asked about earlier? Um, yeah, probably just getting adjusted to that like on a regular basis, you know what I mean? Um, just getting used to that, the physicality, um, the speed of the game, you know, everything's happening so fast. Like the reads you have to make are a lot faster. Um, kind of got to know what's going on before it really happens to be effective for you. Is there something underrated about your game maybe people haven't talked about? Um, I don't know. I don't know what people talked about, to be honest. <laughs> um, well, uh, shoot, shooting uh, and yeah. traditional, as he mentioned, are yeah, kind yeah. Of things people talk about. Um, I feel like I can, be, I can be an underrated passer at times. Yeah. Is this mm -hmm. something you're really focused on as you continue to develop your game? This yeah, game? definitely. I think just for now, just working on just being, in, um, being knocked down and being in the right spot all the time. But as I uh, continue to grow my game, for sure. Yeah. Is that a part of a game that you feel like you may not have been, I guess, placed in the opportunity to show that off at Michigan? Um, the most you could? No, I mean, I think there was there was times, but I mean, it's just, you know, your role at a certain time, I felt my role at Michigan was to hit shots, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I wouldn't say that necessarily, but yeah. What are your feelings and thoughts knowing that you're two days away from your first preseason NBA game? Yeah, and no, I was real excited. Um, now that you say that, because we play on Monday, yeah, it's just really exciting. Um, can't wait to get out there with the guys for sure. What's it like in terms of, for you, what mm -hmm. groups have you been, or what guys have been playing alongside the most? I know a training camp's a lot of mixing and matching, but have there been guys that you've played with the most, with Cole, Truma, Jalen, any of those guys? Um, to be honest, it's been mixed up uh, a lot. I've been on a lot of different teams. So really, I played. I think I played with everyone so far, except for like a couple people. So really just playing with everyone, getting a good vibe with everybody.